welcome back to the Dilettante's Dollhouse. My name is Michelle. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am a beginning miniaturist and I am working on honing my craft by renovating my childhood dollhouse. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing to this channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how I made the scalloped um, <laughs> peak to my dollhouse. I made some siding using cereal boxes and it's actually really easy, at least the way I came up with, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. I've completed the siding up there, and I'm just gonna show you how I measured it out and cut it out and how I laid it up in the dollhouse, and then together we're going to prime the entire siding of the dollhouse, getting it ready for paint. So why don't I change the view here so you can watch how I created the scalloped siding. Okay, so I did this in a really simple way. I have a cap here um, that came with one of my ink sprays, actually. And what I did was I put two little marks just so I had a spot to line it up where they would be consistently the same size. And what I did was I started here and I just drew with my pencil on a piece of cardboard. This is um, chipboard, so this is just cereal packaging. And then I lined it back up again, lining those little marks that I put up on the side with the edge of the cardboard. And even if they were slightly off, I didn't notice it really being that big of a deal. And I'm gonna give you a close-up look of the scallop siding as well. And I just did that all the way along the length of the cereal box cardboard that I had, or the chipboard, whatever you're using. And then I just came in with a pair of scissors and cut it out and because you're gluing the whole thing down if they look like they're a little fragile it's okay because once you glue it down I used Gorilla Wood Glue to glue mine down and it just really held everything down nicely okay and then I'll come over to the dollhouse and that's it that's one piece I did a short one here just for demonstration purposes but you can do it the whole length of the cereal box and then cut them down to size and I'm gonna bring you over to the dollhouse and show you how I did that so here's a close-up of the siding I still need to come in and I need to trim around the window I didn't want to do that when the glue was still wet so I'm just gonna come in with my exacto knife and trim those pieces off but what I did was I just started at the bottom and lined up my piece, glued it down, and then just kept going across. And then what I tried to do with the second row was to bring it, was to one offset it so it wasn't lined up directly with the bottom row like that. So I'd offset it just a little bit and I made sure I brought it down. In some areas I didn't do the best job, but I was trying to bring it down enough so that there was no gaps. You can see I have a few here, but I think once they're painted it's gonna be fine. And then for the corners, over here I would just put the piece so when you're coming to the edge here over and then because it's chipboard and it's so thin you can just press it in here and then you get a line here and then I would just glue it down and when it dried I would come in with my exacto knife and just cut off that excess because I'm gonna be putting some trim over here so it'll hopefully hide any imperfections on the edges and stuff like that. But overall, I am so happy with how this turned out. And I have a um, triple thick primer that I'm gonna be using, not because I think it's what's necessary, but it's because what it's what we had available from a previous um, home renovation project. So I'm gonna use that, but I did wanna use something that was pretty um, strong because I'm using such a light color paint. And if you remember, if you watched how I did the um, siding on the roof, or the shingles on the roof, rather, um, if you get glue on the cardboard, you're going to inadvertently have little changes in color and variation, which I don't want for the siding. It was fine for the roof, but I don't want it for the siding. So I wanted to make sure that I was going to prep this with a primer that was going to pretty much hide anything that's underneath. So I'm hoping that the stuff I'm using would do that. If I was purchasing something, I would probably look into like a kills primer for it. Um, but for the purposes of uh, what I have available, I'm just going to use that and then we can see how the results come. So I'm going to put you back on the stand and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prime the sidings. I did um, all three sides right now, so it's all ready for a primer.
Okay, so the dollhouse is primed and ready for paint. I am going to, uh, as I mentioned, paint the bottom pink. It's gonna match actually the studio walls here. And then the top um, scallop section is going to be white. And then I'm gonna finish that. And then the plan is to start moving inside the dollhouse and start doing things like wallpaper and figuring out flooring and all of that. So that's gonna be the next step. But in the next video, I'm going to actually paint the dollhouse. So it's primed, I'm gonna let this dry. And then next week, I'm going to start painting the dollhouse. And I'll be sharing that with you as well. And we'll get to see how well this chipboard paints and how it looks with the primer and how everything worked out. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found value with it. And if you did, if you would like to give it a thumbs up, that really does help me and my channel out so much. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions about how I did this or um, anything that you can share about your own journey with this. I'd love to hear. We can all help and support each other together. Thank you again, and I will see you again next week. Take care.